So having said it, two figures, rectangular parallel pipe and cube, now it's the time to focus on right circular cylinder. As the diagram suggests, it's a cylindrical object. Now if you can have a look at this particular pen, this can also be termed as this can also be termed as a cylinder. This can also be termed as a cylinder. Even if you would like to fold your book in this particular fashion, in this particular manner, again what I have got is nothing but a cylinder. So this is how a cylindrical object looks like. What are the two parameters over here? What are the two parameters over here? This being nothing the radius of the top as well as the radius of the base, and this is termed as perpendicular height denoted by h. The radius being denoted by r, perpendicular height, perpendicular height is denoted by h. We shall go once again and study absolutely on a parallel line what we did for parallel pipe, what we went for cube, now is the time for right circular cylinder. Now students, the very first thing is, we say area of base, we say area of base is equals to area of top. Now, why I keep on saying area of base is equals to area of top in each of the three cases? In each of the three cases, the base, the base figure and the top figure happens to be the same. Over here, the base was rectangle, the top was rectangle, the base was square, so as the top was square. Here also, the base is a circle. Students, in cylinder, the base is nothing but a circle. Even the top is nothing but a circle. You can focus over here. This is nothing but a cylinder. What shall you see as a base? You shall see as a circle. So as with the top, what shall you see? It's nothing but a circle. So the area of base is equals to area of top is nothing but what did you observe what we are having? We are having circle and its area of circle. Thus, the area of base is equals to area of top is area of circle and area of circle we very well know it is pi r square. Area of circle we very well know it's pi r square. Having said that, you would like to go with the second one. Now, now if you happen to look at the second one over here, I have written area of vertical face. I have written over here area of vertical face. But I shall not write down over here area of vertical face. Unlike the above two, the name over here is going to be curved surface area. Unlike the above two, the name over here is going to be curved surface area. Now what makes me say this as curved surface area? In each of the previous cases, we were having flat face. All six faces were flat, being horizontal or rather being a rectangle or a square. In each of the cases, whether the faces are rectangular by nature or square by nature, but the faces were flat. Over here, we need to have or rather we are having a curved face. What we are having is nothing but a curved face. You can understand much and more from this particular figure itself. Can you see? When you roll down your hand, there is no flat face. You can see everywhere you can observe is nothing but a curved surface. Thus, thus, instead of writing area of vertical faces which we have written for the previous two, I shall write down curved surface area. But, but, maths goes, geometry goes absolutely on a parallel line. Over here I have written perimeter into height. Here also I have written perimeter into height. Over here also I shall write down perimeter into height. But there is no perimeter as far as circle is concerned. For circle, we don't use the word perimeter. We never use the word perimeter, we use the word circumference. I hope my students know that, that we never use the word perimeter for circle. Instead of perimeter, we say it's circumference. So mind change, we say area over here, the curved surface area is circumference. Circumference into height. Circumference into height. Mind you, it's absolutely on a parallel line. Perimeter, why? Because we had a flat faces. And why circumference? Because we have a circular one. And in circle, as we said earlier, that we never say perimeter, we always say circumference. Thus, curved surface area is circumference into height. As all my students know that circumference is nothing but 2 pi r into height is 2 pi r h is 2 pi r. This is nothing but the formula for circumference and into height is h the formula turns out to be as 2 pi r h. If you want, the way in which I made you understand by 
piling heaps of books one above the other. I shall make you understand for this also. I shall make you understand for this also. Let us take a simple. Uh, let us take a simple bangle. Now, when I say a bangle, again, it's a thin circular wire. Just visualize, it's a thin circular wire. So, as of now, we are not in a position to see that particular face. So, if I have to talk in this pole, in this way, that what is from here to here, if I have to rotate it, if I have to rotate it from here to here, then you shall say that this is nothing but a circumference of circle. This is nothing but a circumference of a circle. This is circumference of a circle. At this juncture, you are not in a position to see the height, and that's why you are not in a position to see the face. What do I do is, what do I do is, I pile one panel above the other, and the moment I pile one panel above the other, for you all, I have made this particular arrangement. I do see a face. I do see a curved face. And that's what we say, it is circumference 2 pi r into height. When we lift it up, into height. The formula is 2 pi r into height, that is 2 pi r h. 2 pi r h. The third one to go with, the third one to go with, total surface area. Total surface area. When I say total surface area, as I said earlier also, total means everything. So now let's take this particular figure, you shall understand it much more clear. When I say total surface area, it counts for curved surface area plus area of base plus area of top. Students, once again, total surface means everything. Curved surface area plus area of base plus area of top. Recently we derived the curved surface area, it's 2 pi rh. We know area of base is nothing but area of circle, pi r square. We know area of top is also area of circle, pi r square. So finally, we derive a particular formula. Total surface area is curved surface area. I shall just write down curved surface area as CSA. Curved surface area plus area of base plus area of top plus area of top. Now when I say so, it's curved surface area answer is 2 pi r h plus pi r square which is area of base plus area of top is again pi r square how many pi r square 2 pi r square so i shall write down 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r h now what can we take common 2 pi r is common if you realize if you take it 2 pi r is common what is left from the first term is r plus what is left from the second term is h so we get the very first formula for total surface area for cylinder the answer is 2 pi r bracket r plus h we often say 2 pi r r plus h finally to go with finally to go with volume finally to go with volume again though the figure has changed the concept remains the same Volume is area of base, as I said earlier, area of base into height. Area of base into height. Now, what can you see students over here? What is base? Base is nothing but circle. Base is nothing but circle and area of circle is pi r square. So, I shall write down it's pi r square into height which is h. Thus, volume turns out to be as pi r square h. Volume turns out to be as pi r square h volume of cylinder is pi r square h volume of cylinder is pi r square h thus let's refresh once again area of base is equal to area of top which is pi r square curved surface area with the formula we went and we got the answer is 2 pi r h total surface area i made you understand how the total surface area comes into existence and the formula is 2 pi r r plus h and finally with volume we went with the same formula area of base a to height which is pi r square into h the answer is pi r square h so students in this way we went with all the three cases that is rectangular parallel pipe cube and a right circular cylinder and we have seen the formulas which are absolutely on a parallel line this is how we derive some of the formulas in ensue ratio. Thank you.